Hey guys, welcome back to Digital Gigger. If you're new to this channel, this channel is about helping you get ahead in the digital economy and making more money. Today we're actually talking about a new ride sharing service in Canada called Papa Ride. Digital Gigger work from anywhere in the gig economy. If you've never heard of Papa Ride, Papa Ride is a little bit different than traditional ride sharing services like Uber and Lyft. What they're doing is actually connecting, connecting Canadians between major cities. So one of the routes that I saw on the website was connecting people from Toronto to Montreal. So if you were going to travel between Toronto and Montreal and you wanted to make some extra money, you would put up your schedule on the site or on the app and people that are wanting to travel to Montreal would schedule a seat with you to go on the day that you're going to be going. So if you have a passenger car that fits four passengers, including yourself, that's five, but four paying passengers, you can make $160 just taking uh, some passengers from Toronto to Montreal and you might have been just going by yourself uh, for the ride, five hour drive could be a little lonely, but if you use Papa Ride, now you're filling up the car with some paying passengers, you're gonna have a nice time with some people, and it's gonna be a fun drive. So I think that Papa Ride is on the right track of uh, connecting people in Canada from one city to another. It is a service that is definitely needed. There have been a, a few routes out in the West Coast that uh, no longer get service from Greyhound, and by having a service like Papa Ride, people are now able to go from one city to another and still have a way to get there uh, without depending on a service like Greyhound. Papa Ride did not sponsor this video. This is uh, basically my take on a new ride sharing service that's available in Canada. And I think that uh, it's not for everyone because obviously you have to go intercity and it's a long amount of hours to drive between one city to another. But it is something for people that uh, do often go on trips, business trips or whatever between these cities to make a little bit of extra money because your car is going to be uh, empty and you might as well put some people in it and make some extra money. So if you guys uh, are thinking of doing something with Papa Ride, leave a comment down below. I'd like to hear if anybody else already is using Papa Ride or if that seems like something that would be interesting to you guys as either a passenger or a driver. Now, if you like content that uh, inspires you to make money through the internet, through the digital economy, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you do subscribe, the little notification bell so you know when the next video is going to be put up on the channel. So we hope you enjoyed this little brief Papa Ride video and that uh, it gives you some ideas of things that are available in the Canadian marketplace for ride sharing and that you guys will come back and check out new content soon. So we'll see you guys in the next one.